Okay, so first thing I'm going to install is this uh, base sheet. But it's right here. Base sheet. So as of right now, I'm laying down the base, not nailing it yet, letting it relax. Um, since this is open beam, meaning on the bottom, it looks pretty much the same as this. It's a ship lap. I'm going to have to mark these rafters because these nails are too big. And they'll poke through the bottom and they'll, you'll see a bunch of little nail heads on the bottom of the ship lap so we want to mark our rafters right here in this area right here finish uh rolling it out mark our line and then <clears throat> and then we want to make sure we put these plastic or these uh metal caps right right here so they don't poke through the bottom we got all the rafters marked out so what you want to do is put a nail in the middle, one of these metal cap nails, so when you torch onto it, it doesn't melt. There are some plastic cap ones, but with the torch it'll melt quick, that's why we use metal. Now what you're going to want to do here is to stretch out the base sheet, you want to kind of stick your feet back like this, sliding back, and nail. Slide back, nail on this side. Now that side. Now one here, there. I keep on going all the way so you can stretch it out nice. Because the way that this lays out is the way the torch is going to look. I just finished nailing down the, the base. As you can see, my foot marks right there. <laughs> um, yeah, typically you want to stagger them at 9 inches spaced apart. On the bottom, you want to do it probably about six inches to avoid flame going underneath if this was over a living space meaning inside the house or a garage I would have done a four <coughs> I would have done a four inch overlay right now I just did two so we're gonna blow off all of the sand to make sure we get good adhesion onto this base and that's the next step video that has <clears throat> two layers of smooth so this is smooth so it doesn't have no granules no rocks just pure uh, modified bitumen so there's some little rolls we install this underneath flashings or underneath the drip edge around the edges around there so you could sandwich the metal um, so it's just regular roll it's not a peel and stick membrane it's uh torch applied so the and what you do is you put a blow or a flamethrower, heat this up, this will melt, and then it'll go stick onto the base. This is just base. It's not a waterproofing product. I mean, I wouldn't put this underneath tile. Um, this is just to protect the, the wood and also to give it a base. First thing you want to do is dry lay it, so lay it out back roll it up to halfway and then once you have it back rolled then you put your torch and you burn the back of the roll and then you lay it out and it sticks onto the base so many people have different ways of doing this <clears throat> some don't even torch it they just nail it and then they put the drip edge on the side right here um, you just burn the back of this and you back roll it out I mean it's meant for welding see there's even a flamethrower on there which is this so this will come out I can't record while I'm doing this this is a torch and then you just burn it and then you, with one hand you roll it the other this one's welding you got all the mini smooth around now put some metal, make sure you put some primer on the drip edge metal so the asphalt sticks. Tip is when you're going to overlap another one is you want to kind of you know, like squish this like this. So you get a tight fit right here. 
otherwise this part right here will be open but if you squish it like that it'll give it a tighter fit it looks nicer very important step is to put some type of sealant in between the seams so when we go do an overlap be sealed you could either use mastic roofing cement I like to use the back of the smooth roll just uh, heat it up and then scoop it with the spoon put it right there and then you overlap it then you nail it metals down so next step is you have to Melt this down really good at least every like get the stagger them like one here one there one here one there one here like just kind of go zigzag pattern all the way around the reason why you do that or the reason why you've probably seen somebody do it is because when you put your torch onto this metal this metal will start to like warp <laughs> and that's why you want a lot of nails so that's the next step so this is what i mean by staggered See how many nails there are. So just like the two ply torch, I'm gonna do a 45 right here. That way when the other one overlaps, this um, seals properly. Cause when you do a straight line, the seal is good. So same thing on top. Make sure you do your 45, that way you can seal it properly. So I'm doing the field right now and uh, how I usually torch is I burn three quarters of it, leaving the laps so you could see right here the little bump. For example, right here as well, you could see where the where I seal it. So basically, see that how it's all melted. So I leave just enough so I could do my laps. Um, another way to do it is doing the full roll, which is burning the whole thing, uh, meaning blowing the torch all the way through when you're rolling it back. Um, but you have to be consistent. Uh, I prefer to focus on three quarters of it. That way we could seal the seams a lot better some guys are really really good and they could do that if you're really good do the full roll but how I burn it I usually burn it all the way here and then stop here move my torch here bring it this way stop there bring my torch here bring it this way and then stop there like it's easier when you're doing a bigger area meaning more square feet but since this one is small, it's hard to be consistent for me. Um, but yeah, if you aren't consistent, just burn it, roll this bag, burn it from here all the way, and then come back and do your laps. So as you can see, I, I uh, forged the, the base before. Getting nice and hot. Also, Also around the edges. I know it says don't use your foot, but I'm doing it for the sake of the video. So you burn the back.
so you see right here at this end right, it's, pretty, it's pretty sealed right here at the edge I'm gonna um, burn this a little bit better but I need two two hands to do it so I'll basically lift this pull my torch and then seal it right here also I need to cut my I need to cut my 45 right here which I did which will give me a tighter seal right here look at that so that's how I do it usually instead of using my foot I use a a pole uh, and then when I do my seams I need to clean this one up but I burnt that one for this or lift it up like that so I have this tight area right here and there's wood <clears throat> right there there's a window right here I have to use a flamethrower underneath here so um, I'm going to torch it from out here so what I'm doing is I put a piece of base which is that over the existing so I don't burn the final product I'm gonna torch it from out here and then swap it inside I'm gonna cut this off because this off so it doesn't show but that's what I'm gonna do so I saw it off the salvage end as you can see so what I'm gonna do, gonna do is uh, I'm gonna basically lay it flat right here towards this top part and then flop it over, make sure that top end's good. Put it like that. So it's nice and tight. And then once that's in, now I could just lift it and torch it. That way the flame doesn't shoot underneath your siding and wood and it's a little dangerous to catch them the house on fire and these are the precautions we have to take so I folded it back I marked my spot where this bottom end is supposed to be my goal is to <clears throat> not move that bottom part and then torch this top part and I want to kind of push it so it rolls but before I do that I need to put it on my mark put my knee on there and roll it in and flop it but it has to be quick so as you can see there's my mark I want to keep this bottom here and then I roll it in. <laughs> so, as you can see, there's a tight space right here, which I can't use. The humonga dunga. I have to use a small, small torch right here. One like this. We got to preheat this. This mini right here, this smooth. And we don't want to said before this isn't this is not really a waterproofing product but so there's a window back there and what we're doing is we tuck the paper underneath this one that way when we torch this way it goes up and over and it doesn't go into the windows or or the wood so I'm gonna torch this we're gonna nail this down and then after we torch it we're gonna trim this off and that's just to give it uh, fire protection so when you when you're torching and you're laying down base you don't want to think of it as um 
water shedding you want to think of it as fireproofing so depending on how you the way you aim your your torch is the way you're gonna want to put down the base because if this was water shedding then this would have to be over this one so water will go on top of this but since we're using a flamethrower the flame i'm gonna be shooting this way and then the flame will just go here and then it'll go like this like a wave and come back out that way protects the window wood things like that so when you lay down your base make sure it's for fireproofing not waterproofing or water shedding Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you have any questions, comment below. Questions in the comments. Do you guys prefer doing the full roll, torch down, or just the three quarter method? I just want to see the percentages on how people do the three quarter method compared to the full roll all at the same time. How do you guys do single layer torch? I know there's a couple different systems out there. There's 50% uh, overlaps, kind of like a two ply layer of base with a regular sheet on top. There's another way where the mini isn't torched down, it's just nailed down. Uh, some people don't use mini. So uh, this is Roofing Fanatics, our YouTube channel. Our roofing business is called Zenith Roofing Services, located here in San Diego. So if you need any roofing, look in the description below and you'll get in contact with Zenith Roofing Services. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.